a lot of love. He's a great guy, very funny, super talented. Eric Schechter! How about something for the lovely and talented Becky Petruccio? Right there, our sensei, our Mr. Miyagi. Keep it going for Becky, please. How is everybody? Good. You're doing great? Awesome. I fucking feel amazing. I lost 40 pounds recently. 40 pounds! And I'm fucking starving! I don't need your applause. I need your cheeseburger! God. I've learned a lot on my journey to starvation. First thing I've learned, lesson number one. No fucking fat man has ever lost the equivalent weight of a five-year-old or two-thirds of a supermodel, take your pick, on something called a diet. No, what I've done It's a regimen. It's a system. I've gone to boot camp. Use terms like steel and stone. I like calling it the bigger looking penis plan, but that's just me. <laughs> just don't call it a diet. And don't think you're going to get any kind of positive reinforcement on social media. That's just bullshit. Social media has elevated bullshit to an art form. You, know, you post your pictures, you hope that your friends, and then your friends come and they say things like, Wow, you look amazing. It's so phony. They, they, they give you fucking thumbs up. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Don't put your goddamn thumb in my face unless it's got a T-bone propped on it, okay? <laughs> fucking thumbs up. My God. <laughs> Let me tell you about the best compliment I've ever gotten. I run into a friend in my neighborhood. I hadn't seen this guy since, since I was fat. <laughs> he looks at me, and with so much sincerity in his voice, he says, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I had no idea you had cancer. <laughs> You look like shit! <laughs> I swear to God, I got a, I got a chubby so big, I just, I just, that's the kind of compliment I need. <laughs> Hardest time, of course, is anybody who's ever been on a regimen knows, is at night. And those fucking sugar cravings are just playing tricks on your head. <laughs> but I found what I think is a, a, a very positive and constructive way to deal with these. Basically, I pour myself three shots of whiskey. I down two of them, and I take the others, and I just rub them all over my eyes. And I swear to God, I'm not thinking about, like, the bag of potato chips that's in the other room. <laughs> works every time. So now I'm an alcoholic. It's tough. Uh, but I've found a good solution for that too. I, I take these pills every night. And it's great. So now, I'm a drug addicted. Alcoholic, skinny, but hey, at least I'm dealing constructively with my issues. I'm watching TV the other night, 
guy comes on, all serious. He looks right at me. May have been after the three whiskeys, I'm not sure. He looks right at me, and he asks me the musical question. Men, do you suffer from opioid-induced constipation? <laughs> The answer, well, of course I do! <laughs> but I'm too fucking stoned to give a shit! Literally! <laughs> Opioid induced constipation! So, you take a pill because you're addicted to pills, everything's melting up in your brain, and you can't even shit! <laughs> But at least the fucking constipation's pain free. Right? It just it just proves it just proves what everybody says. There's a fucking pill for everything. For everything. High cholesterol is a pill for that. Can't get a hard on. There's a pill for that too. Need to lose weight really fast? They got a pill for that can't get a hard on because you've lost weight really fast, there's a pill for that, and I'm here to tell you, it is not very effective. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not going to take your waitress. <laughs>